Do you think that's why you failed out of the space program, though? Probably. Yeah. I mean, you just can't take your pants off wherever you want, dude. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Ultimate Masters draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. I'll be your host here with your other host. Two hosts. Strawberry boy look fresh. <laughs> That's you, not me. I, I got it, yeah, yeah. I got it. You have to be aggressive about it, okay? I've got it. I hate you. Do it, do it again. You can take off your pants any place you please. Well, that's true. But there are consequences for your actions. Also, funny story. Uh, I have a Herman Miller Aaron right now, and that's the chair I use. Because I sit in the chair, like, 35 hours a week. And um, so I bought a nice chair. But I got it from a place called Madison Seating because they had a great price on it. And then I found out after the fact that they're kind of just like a used Herman Miller non-authorized non dealer. So I had a small issue. It was just a cosmetic issue. And I was like, hey, I'd like to get this fixed because, you know, chair's under warranty for like five years or whatever. And um, they were like, yeah, just ship the chair to us and we'll fix it. And I'll send you, we'll send it back. And I'm like, we ship the chair to you? It's like $200 to ship the chair. I only paid like 500 for this this particular chair. And I'm like, you want to pay like half price to ship it back to you? And then you probably want me to play, pay return shipping as well, I would imagine. So... Yeah, I'm not going to do that for like a $35 cosmetic fix. Like, I just wanted to get this fixed because it was broken in the warranty of the chair. It's a nice chair, right? So, like, if a little thing goes wrong, you want to get that fixed. So, last night, I was sitting in it, and, like, it, like, falls a little bit. It just drops a little bit, and I'm like, oh, no, this does not seem good. So, um, I looked at it, and, like, there's, like, the seat, and then there's, like, two brackets on the side. And the seat actually looked like it moved over a little bit and fell out of this bracket and I tried to push it back and fix it but I couldn't do it so I just bit the bullet and I bought a new chair last night so I have a new chair on the way and I'm warning you if I happen to fall out of this chair it may happen I don't know so it's very possible that I fall out of this chair and and I'll be ready and die is it Pam's old chair no no it is not that's a that's a solid office meme though. Um, it is taking a while. It is taking a while. You're right. You are not wrong about that. But yeah, the the new chair will have a 12 year warranty, direct from Herman Herman Miller, and uh, it is going to be brand new. You can tell the chair I have now. It's a Herm. It's it's an Aaron, but it's not the newest model Aaron. It's not like the 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 most recent one with all the sweet upgrades. So the one I'm getting will be like brand new remastered version from uh, from Herman Miller themselves. So uh, ideally, I don't fall, but uh, I am I am warning you that it is it is an option, it is a possibility. I don't think so because the part that the, the seat is resting on is is pretty sturdy. He says as he taps the seat, ready to fall out of it, but. I'm at a point where I might just actually send the chair in to get repaired anyway, pay for, pay for the shipping, and then when I get it back, I'll just sell it. Um, this format is not great. And if you guys don't know, if you guys are watching on YouTube, uh, I am going to be gone from Wednesday to Monday. So I'm actually going to get back at like 10 a.m. on Monday, so I will still have time to stream. But um, yeah, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, no stream. And I'm actually kind of glad that it's going to be the bulk of Ultimate Masters because this is one of the worst Masters since. Really that bad? It's not great. You know how like we used to love drafting Modern Masters? Like it was super fun and like we kept doing it and we were mm -hmm. like, this is great. This format's amazing. I just want to keep playing Ultimate Masters or Modern Masters. Right. This format's not really that way. Denmark, what's going on, buddy? What's the pick here? You don't know. I literally have no idea also it's it's awkward too because there's a bunch of cards with new art so it's just like like you probably you might even be like oh, i didn't know that was former mage because of the art uh unholy hunger is good it just kills anything for five mana and then you gain two life if you got spell mastery dragoon is nice because it gets you the uh it's a discard outlet that flies spider spawning is pretty sweet i think we just take spider spawning and go and go real deep i could give mike the chair but if it's broken uh, I could give Mike the chair, but I'm going to be paying $200. It's a chair I paid $500 for. And then I'd be paying $200 more to ship it back. 
or 150 dollars to ship it back so i'd be putting like 800 bucks in the chair and i'm not sure if i want to just give an uh, an 800 dollars herman miller away just because that is a sizable investment Are there cards to support the spider spawning? Uh, yeah, creatures. Got him. Wow. Got him. So we got Miming Slime, which is not a creature. Wicker Bow Elder, which is pretty good. I mean, it is a creature. It makes a creature. Right. But it doesn't count for, like, spider spawning. Sure. I don't know if we really want to go too deep on the spider spawning. Why wouldn't we? I don't know if that's viable. Why? All you have to do is play in your deck, man. I feel like it's a trap. What? What's a trap about it? All you have to do is it makes spiders for each creature in your graveyard. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with that? Like, what? what's trappy about that? Are you going to have creatures in your graveyard? So you're not going to draft a bunch of, like, mill cards? No. I'm just going to naturally play this. Okay. Michael B, the pipes, the pipes are calling. If removal is bad, isn't it no temper or the black removals? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying right now, Danny. I don't know what you're saying right now. It's basically nonsense. I'm oh, sorry. Seismic assault. Yeah, that is interesting. I also like Grave Scrabbler here because we're going to be discarding creatures anyway. Ulamog's Crusher. That's the thing. Slum Reaper. That's what you are. We lose cube for this for like two weeks, but then like next Wednesday, so not even a week from like uh, like a week and three days from now, um, the vintage cube is up. So Michael, Michael, talking about Michael, Michael. That's a wow. <laughs> that's a good meme. I like that. I'm so stoked that you and Ollie have been putting on episodes of Fresh Super. Yeah, I'm really excited to talk about it this week. Oh, that's what we were going to do. We're going to play some Chromantic. We're going to play some of Ollie's Chromantic Black after this. Because that deck looks amazing, and I'm really sad I haven't tried it yet. Especially because Ollie's like one of my BFFs. So, you like Sanitarium Skeleton? Look at this weirdo. Sanitarium. That's exactly what it Baby. I just took the 2 2 that has Persist. Also, Rally Sculptor, glad to hear it, buddy. Twins of Maurer Estate is pretty solid. Bloodflow Connoisseur, not bad. Put your dudes in the graveyard, then you can spider spawn for like a big thing. Canker Abomination is what I call Mike a lot of the time. What I think does that card even do? Which one? Canker. Uh, it's a 6-6 six, six for 4, and if it depending on how many creatures... For each creature your opponent has, it gets a negative 1, negative 1 counter. So if they have 2, hmm. it's a 4-4. Four, four. If they have 3, it's a 3-3, three, three, etc. I want to take the Twins, though, because discarding things is cool. I've heard there's next to no removal in this format, so shouldn't you take... Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Um, yes, but when you have a card like Sp Spider Spawning, which is a an actual solid strategy, I think that's better. Another Twinsies? Okay. I'm just going to take all the twins and then discard them for three mana. And the twins. I have no idea what that was. You don't remember that commercial? No. Okay. Do you? Well, yeah. I don't remember that. No, I think you just made that up. Which cube is this? It's the weakest. It's the it's the weak cube. It's the Cuba Gooding Jr. So I took two cards out of the cube. I took Beyond the whatever. Do you know what that card is? Yeah, Beyond the whatever. 
Yeah, Beyond the Madness, that's not uh, MTG. Behold the Beyond, I think it's called. Yeah, Behold the Beyond. I took this card out, which I like a lot. Oh, this card, this pack has literal nothing in it. That's sad. Seven mana, discard your hand. All right, I've seen enough. And search for three cards. It's like a tutor for three cards. Still, probably. yeah, but still. Yeah, I agree with you. That's why I took it out. And I also took out Time Twister, so I need to find two cards to replace those cards in my cube. Why'd you take out Time Twister? Because it doesn't do anything. If I took out all, all the Storm... There's no Storm deck in the cube. So without a Storm deck, it just doesn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Phyrexian Altar. You know yeah, what's a lot make? of new arts. Yeah. Look at that awful snout. This is basically just you, right? Wow. I'm just asking. Is that a pig insect? A a pin a pin sect? Oh, Wawa well, well, Kaffa cough, yeah. cough sighting. One dollar coffee, any size. One dollar coffee. One dollar coffee make you coffee. Please no. I have nothing. Back in September, I got a vasectomy. I subscribed to your channel because you kept me entertained while I was recovering, but because I don't internet very well, I didn't realize it was an ongoing subscription as opposed to a monthly one. So Twitch keeps taking money on my account every month. My wife has asked me three times now to deal with it. I haven't. Don't tell her. I want to see how long we can keep this going. I want to be honest with you. I also would like to see how long we can keep this going for my benefit, but also for your comedic benefit. So I think we both I think we both profit from this. What is this Frank Lepore charge on your, on your statement every month? Oh, don't worry about that. I'll get that taken care of. You should just tell her the vasectomy doctor is named Frank Lepore, and uh, it's a lifetime fee that you have to pay. <laughs> That's a good laugh you did there. I caught it. A few words on the Endgame trailer. Um, it's a tearjerker, and Paul Rudd is a is a is a scene stealer. Is it good coffee? I like it. I put some hazelnut cream in it. But Golgari, good coffee. Was the Winter Blend, which is a limited time. Oh, that sounds wintry. Biovisionary probably loves the Winter Blend. Yawa yeah, has pretty decent coffee. The new Spider-Man is great. I assume you'll see. Ah, oh, I've heard nothing but good things, and that's like a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes, which is un unbelievable to me. Wawa well, Winter Blend is legit. Winter bl and then Winter Blend is tasty, so we got two in the chat. That's a that's a twofer right there. Better than the pump. Better than pumpkin spice. Dang. Wow. I don't even know you anymore. That's account account hack confirmed. Oh, we got a gamble. That's a solid rare. A card reads: uh, Search your library for a card and discard and it. Put it in the graveyard. <laughs> it's just in tune, then, right? Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Green. We got this guy. We got a Cathodian. What makes it wintered flavor? Pine cones and road salt? Uh, are pine cones winter exclusive? Nailed it. No, they're not. I didn't think so. I was like, that's that's really pinest that you think pine cones pinest. are only winter. Let's take that angel despair. Boom. I'm actually, I was tempted to do it. Our green isn't that good. We could temp technically take it. It's a pretty good card. And we can still discard this to cast it from the graveyard. Mm -hmm. we could splash it we have a vessel you know what I am going to take it I think it's the best card in this pack what does vessel do again vessel mm -hmm. walker walker doesn't go in the grave you want to evoke it it doesn't have flashback I mean oh it goes in the grave because you evoke it yeah what did you say what, what does what do vessel vessel yeah it just adds a mana of any color but when it comes into play you can exile a card from a graveyard <sighs> Travel preppies. We can also just splash the green, which is pretty easy to do here. Oh, this is also a white card, so this is like, we don't even have to sacrifice that one. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I might just want the prismatic lens because we have Angel now. Yeah, I'm gonna... What are you doing, man? You're rubbing your... Scratching my belly. <laughs> I'm scratching my belly. Scratching my belly. Scratching my belly. Sacrifice is return a creature from the grave to the battlefield at the beginning of the next step. Sacrifice it. Yeah, it puts them on the bottom of the library. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I meant it gets it out of the graveyard. That's really all I was trying to get at. 
I didn't know the specifics of it. Um, I'm going to take these kitchen finks, I think. God, I'm still really hoping I don't fall out of this chair. I'm hoping you do. I know you are. Oh, double kitchen finks? That seems real good. All right, we're doing it. The thing I do like about Bloodflow Connoisseur is that a lot of these new creatures are uh, use this ability only as a sorcery. And so, like, this just blanks a lot of their removal. What are you doing over there? You doing all right? I'm drinking my coffee. I like that your water's empty, too. So you're literally just, like, going water, coffee, water, coffee. That's what I do. Okay. I like spirit cairn. Cairn? Cairn? Is that what it's called? Isn't that the... Isn't that isn't that one of the Torrens from uh, World of Warcraft? I know literally zero about World of Warcraft. Bloodhoof Cairn? Is that his name? Look at this devoted druid. Oh. Like, we can still be green. Yeah, this is probably the best. Oh, Kadama's Reach, too, though. Actually, that gets double white. Yeah, we're going to take the Kadama's Reach. You hear them birds outside? Oh, I do. Cairn Bloodhoof. What did I say? Did I say Bloodhoof Cairn? Did I say it backwards? How are you discarding all these cards? Which ones? I'm just going to cast them. Oh, you mean like twins? We're going to open We're gonna open lots of uh, Wild Mongrels and more Olivia's Dragoons. I and mean, we haven't been passing discard outlets, right? It's not like we've been... Right? No one can see your hand. Dang. He's doing this, like with the bird sounds, but no one can see it, because... Is Karen Bloodhoof dead? Is that why you said rip? Is it too soon? Was he taken from us too soon? Oh, that's a late wild mongrel. Oh, and a last gasp? Jeez. Buttery biscuits. Too soon executus? What does that mean? That sounds like a Protoss thing. But you probably don't know about the Protoss, because that's like the one world, the one... Uh, What does that mean? Is that a major Domo executus reference? You don't know, you don't know Protoss, because that's the one Blizzard game you don't play. I don't think Snake Armor is as good as either of these two cards. What's the pick, man? Is it this? It's got to be this guy, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, man. I hate passing that last gasp. Middle Bones Monster. Yeah, my back is doing good. Yeah, he's actually, surprisingly... I played Stark. Don't lie. You don't have to lie. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got... <laughs> yeah, that. What he said. You can't just play StarCraft. It's a whole lifestyle. It is a lifestyle. You should ask Sean Plot about it. I just asked Sean Plot about it. Icacian Cryer is also a discard out. I played all the games except Overwatch. Well, that's because you're you got a because of your baby eyes. I hate that I can't get into Overwatch. Really? Yeah, everyone's playing it, but I'm like, just, that's the, that's how I feel. I'm like, man, I played it a couple times and it just me didn't just didn't grasp me. I feel like it makes you feel like you're missing out, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, what are you guys getting? Like, you guys are really enjoying this. Why? It's can't... weird because I really like Team Fortress 2 and Overwatch has a lot of similarities, but I don't know. I always felt like with StarCraft that I loved playing StarCraft, but as soon as I played anyone competitive in StarCraft, I was like, I'm out. I can't. It's too much. Like, I was just, it was just such another level. Oh, this is actually good because it lets us cast Rhea. Oh, and no, we can also get it back with Double Finkos. Double Finkos. You heard me. You know, like Jinkos. Like, if I'm just playing a, a nice slow game of StarCraft where I'm building cool stuff, I like StarCraft as a world-building simulator that I can that I can occasionally attack with. 
I want to upgrade all my things, and then I want to make all the coolest, big, biggest things. I want to be. I want to make all the big ships, and then I just want to be like, all right, I'm gonna casually walk over here and attack you. Oh dang you it! You don't like getting Zerg rush, bro? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if the game is over in four minutes and they're just like, oh, I killed you, and I'm like, well, that's awkward. I think I just want this wall of reverence. Really? Yeah, it's really good. It's one six. The removal in this format is like non-existent. This blocks everything and gains us a million life. Okay. Poor gay. What's UMS mean? What is that? You know what UMS is? Mm-mm. Oh, Dana's 100% right. If you're competitive with StarCraft, that is your life. Yeah, that game's really hard to be competitive at. And it's funny because you look at Sean Plot now and you're like, wow, I can't believe you were, like, amazing at StarCraft. Uh, Ghoul Steed. Ghoul Steed. Oh, user map settings. Okay, custom games. Gotcha. Gotcha. I like this, but like... But Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot? Oh, you like Hooters? Mm -hmm. Is Angler better than Hooters? Oh, Angler's probably better than Hooters. Um, I like this, but like, we're going to ping the three mana to get this dude back. And then we're also going to be paying three mana like discard a thing, so it's not the best discard outlet. I think it's probably Hooters, but like, eh, we can take some Hooters. Over fish? Oh, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. I meant I meant fish. Can you say Battle, Battle Cruiser Operational? I don't actually know if that was any good. Oh, you know tomorrow. What what happens tomorrow? Your death. My death happens tomorrow. So what you're saying is, you'll let me know if my Battle Cruiser Operational saying was good tomorrow. Because I die tomorrow. Mm hmm. Huh. Well, I can't argue with that, I guess. I don't see the problem. So I believe we, we say what problem is in that situation, right? You might say that. I did say it. You don't know me. You don't know my what problem is life. What if I did, though? What if you, what if you did know my life? Mm hmm. I guess they're, I don't, you know, no, I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea what that changes. Got him. Wow, that's the first surprise Pikachu I think we've seen. That seems like a record. Today. Did you got him? Did you get, did you get him? Me? I think so. Did you get him, me? Did you get my message about having your, I did. I totally did. I will respond to that as well. I'm, uh, I'm actually looking forward to it. Ooh, I like another Kodama's Reach. Ooh, Entomb. But we don't have any way to, like, get things out, I guess. So. Brawn is also pretty good to discard. Hey, I Entombed it. Okay, it's there forever. <laughs> FTL, STP. STP? Why, where the, what's the T stand for? <laughs> oh, dear God. Ah, we're just taking second Kodama's Reach. Where are my discard outlets at, man? I'm gonna take this death denied. I'm gonna take this pulse of Marasa. You doing okay, man? I think so. But you're not sure? No. How will you know? When I die. Wow, everything revolves around death to you, buddy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm struggling today, it's fine. I Bob, I'm glad you got it together though. I'm glad you finally got there in the end. I feel like this fit, sitting on this chair is super weird because I feel like I'm literally just like a a couple goes to see marriage counselors. They say their marriage is on the rocks because they never speak to each other. The counselor tries to get them to talk, but they just sit there with their arms folded and their mouths closed. So he pulls out an upright bass and starts taking a solo. Instantly, the couple turns to each other and starts conversing for the first time in months. Shocked by this, the couple asks the counselor, how did you know that would work? Simply says, everyone, go on. Okay. I didn't know Twitch cut you off like that. Well, I think, he, yeah, your message is going to be so long, right? Because otherwise, like, otherwise you could literally just spam the chat with like a 10,000 
character message or something. I guess that's true. I feel like that would be unhealthy for the for the Twitch format. Oh my god, I can't believe you just literally left. Does <laughs> <laughs> this is, I'm gonna laugh if this is actually if there's no ending to the joke if it just literally cuts off there and it's like but what but what oh and Olivia's Dragoon that's exactly what we wanted discard outlets four days everyone always talks during the base solo hmm. okay that's pretty funny actually wow that's a really obscure music joke <laughs> everybody talks during the base solo I think we take out one Kodama's reach Maybe. Really? No, it sounds bad. It's probably better to take out the the vessel, right? Yeah. Two cuts. Maybe Mark of the Vampire. We can board that in if we're like going against an aggressive deck. I'm going to take this Vengeful Rebirth. We can actually cast that. Why did we get demonetized? Because you existed... God, ain't that the truth? It's the story of my life. Story of my life. We need one more cut right here. Is it death denied? What does that even do? Return X creatures from your grave to your hand. It's an instant. Nah, get rid of that. <laughs> nah, get it out of here. Like an angler. Gurmy. Did you ever play much of the Diablos? Um, so I'm pretty sure my Discord wishes I played more Diablo. But I've played and enjoyed pretty much every Diablo there was. Um, I never played the first Diablo, but I have played a lot of the second. And a decent amount of the third. A lot of the second? I want to keep Ray Dawnbringer in the deck just because we have uh, double Kodama's Reach and Verdant Eidolon and Prismatic Lens. Also, this deck looks pretty sweet. I don't know if it's a winner. YouTube has a monitoring system that even they don't understand. I agree with you. They flag things really weird, and I'm like, this is not a this is not a problematic video. I think seven seven three is fine. I'm game with that. We want three white for the Raya. And we can actually get all three of them with Kodama's reaches or Prismatic Lens, so. Am I looking forward to Diablo Mobile? Probably not, but only just because only because I don't play mobile games. Like that's the only reason I'm not. Like it's it's not about it's not a matter of like I'm mad at it because I'm like, eh, it's a mobile Diablo game. Eh, where's Diablo Four? I don't care about all that. I just, I mean, I probably will still download it and have it on my phone just because it seems like it's fun to just load up and do if I have nothing else to do. Load up and do. But, like, I also don't play many mobile games, so. Can we play Bridge here? I don't think... I don't... Bridge is a card where I'm, like, I don't even consider putting it in my decks. Oh, I like this curve. So on turn five, we can sack this for three, four, five. We can actually play Angel on turn five. If we hit a land. That seems pretty nuts. Turn five, Angel of Despair. I'm Mr. Cheer. So what are the archetypes in this format? Oh, so you were literally just, this is just a, a, you were just paying for a question is what you were doing. I actually don't know. Green, black discard, I think. There's a red, black sacrifice deck. There's like a heroic deck. There's a, there's a bunch of different archetypes, but I don't think that any of them are like, here's, here's the, here's the truth of the matter. I don't think any of them are like really, really well fleshed out. Like, I feel like they're all kind of missing some things. I don't know. Maybe that's, Maybe that's just me. You ready? Are you ready, kids? Okay. How are we on Canada Candy? What's left? A good amount. Like all of it, pretty much? Yeah, we had like three total bars, I think, that we've eaten. This format definitely seems more focused on reprints than limited playability. I agree with that. land oh boy so three white 
This seems good, right? Oh, and we get it back? Oh, wow. I didn't even consider that because I was so excited. We have not tried ketchup chips yet. Did they miss a land drop? Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm going to kill your Caracas because we do have Rhea in the deck. And Rhea is very playable with a Verdant Eidolon, so... Oh, now they're going to do something. Okay, let's go to combat. Swords to Plowshares? Is that in this format? Path to Exile? I don't even know. Oh, you just literally added a mana and then didn't do anything with it. Classic. It is, it is an awkward classic. I'll float a mana. Okay, I'll go to combat. The mana disappears. Well, you got me, I guess. Like, I'm tapped out as well, so, like, you can't really bluff anything, right? Like, uh, it's just a very weird decision to make. Like, there's no, there's no, like... Sure. Seems fine. Hey, we can actually spider spawning for zero here, which seems pretty good. Nice. That is nice. Let's get in there with this lady. Oh, uh, one, two, three. I think it's Bloodflow Mongrel here. How'd you get the angel into play? Verdant Eidolon. MVP. How did you get your angel into play? Got him. Did you see me get him? I saw it. Okay. Well, I heard it mostly. Mostly? Mostly. Was that mostly and basically combined? Something like that. I think it was actually and mostly. Mostly? I don't think there was a T. I think it was mostly. Whatever, man. I hate you so much. I hate you so much it's criminal. Are you falling asleep? No. You got the... Are you? Maybe a little bit. What? It's only four in the afternoon, man. Don't judge me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pilot Evan, thank you so much for the resub. Or the sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Um, But why? Like, it's so... Why are you so easy to judge, though? That's what I don't understand. Hey man, it's before my get-up time that normally happens. No, it's not. You wake up at three. Yeah, well, today I woke up a lot earlier. How much? What, are, what time did you wake up? Uh, like twelve thirty-ish. What time did you go to bed? Like five. So you got seven and a half hours of sleep. Yeah, about. And you can't stay awake at four p.m. I'm here, aren't I? That's not what we're talking about, though. <laughs> oh my god. Any more sass, and I'll go in my room and take a long nap. Yeah, that's what's gonna make you. I'll do get it. you. Yeah, that'll really get me. Turn 5 Angel of Despair seems pretty broken. Well, he's dead in two turns if he can't deal with it, so yeah. He's dead before that, that's for sure. 5 of Flyers are good. You're right. What do you got here? A little travel preppies? Alright, so this guy's going to be huge. Huge. Stop bullying your son. I'm literally <laughs> trying to shame my son into being more active during his life. It won't work. I am aware. I became painfully aware a long time ago. What's happening now? Are you going to travel prep again? This guy's going to be like a 7-7? Seven, seven? Yeah, that's pretty big. I hope they alpha and then we can just take it and kill them. Oh, they didn't. Well, that's sad. Well, biscuits. Let's go, Dama's Reach. Huh. Well, that's something. You said, well, biscuits, and she responded to that. Yeah, so. <laughs> like, I don't know that. Yeah, but you will. I guess, unless these guys have float. If you attack with everything, what? You block, like, the two biggest, right? You take one, two, three... Or you block these two and you go to one. 
Yeah, that's probably more accurate. Oh, excuse me. I'm basically dying. Rumors of my... Tofu I, burps. Yeah, we had some Thai food for lunch. I mean, it was really breakfast. I also think... <laughs> well, no, that's not... Who did I get into this conversation? Was it you who got in this conversation with the other day? Me and Felipe, yeah. It's not breakfast just because it's your, your first meal of the day. Breakfast happens at a certain time. It's a morning meal. Your first meal of the day is not your breakfast. If you if you wake up at 6 p.m. and eat a pizza at 7 p.m., that is not breakfast for you. It's just dinner. You just, you're eating, it's your first meal. I feel like you're being foodist and I don't like it. Foodist? Yeah. <laughs> you should get a t-shirt that says Mike was right and uh, it can be like the Magneto was right t-shirt that's the thing yeah there's actually an image in, a, in an X-Men comic uh, where a character called Quentin Quire is wearing a shirt that says Magneto was right and he's in the X he's a, he's a, he's a student at the uh, Xavier school and uh, it's a real rebel huh yeah and so they actually made t-shirts that say Magneto is right on them. You're preying upon my angel? How rude. Got any way to stop that? Uh, yeah, I sacrificed it. Now what are you going to do? Hmm. Isn't that worse because now he doesn't have damage on them? Yeah, but I'm not going to like trade with it anyway. I'm trying to get... They're at five. Like, I just got to get through with these guys and this. Oh my god, can you imagine if we draw Rhea and then we can Rhea and reanimate Angel of Despair? You know what Rhea does? The Dawnbringer? Yeah. Does she bring back a thing? Yeah, she brings back a creature every upkeep. I wasn't sure because I'm like, you could 100% know what Rhea does because you play a commander. But then you might not. You might also not know what Rhea does. So, Okay, that's pretty unbeatable, I think. Well, it won't win us the game, though. Yeah, but it'll stop us from ever losing the game, I think. I need some more water. Let's go get some more water, man. If that's going to keep you awake, man. It will. Uh, I believe this actually was Frank Quietly Art. You can tell because they have smush faces. They have, like, oatmeal faces. Which is literally how someone described Frank Quietly Art. And I was like, yeah, that's actually perfect. In that image, you were correct. That definitely looked oatmeal-y. Yeah, they have oatmeal faces. It's hilarious. <laughs> but not in a bad way, necessarily? No, wait. I'll show you some more. I'll show you some really weird Frank Quietly Art. And it's not intentionally weird. Let me spell his name correctly, I guess. Everyone just looks like they have friggin' oatmeal faces. And I was like, when someone said that to me, I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. Try art. I yeah, believe. that's what I was thinking. There we go. Like they just they 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 just have a weird like I don't know it's hard to explain. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because none of these images are doing it justice. I feel like I built it up as like really smushy oatmeal faces, but now they're not they're not showing up. Are you excited for Dark Phoenix at all? No, I haven't been excited for an X Men movie in a long time. Isn't there a trailer out for that? I'm just going to take eight here. Uh, yes, there is, and it's very bad. I they have a doughy it. look. Yes, it's. I can't. That's perfect. Every explanation for, for Frank Quietly Art has been perfect so far. I mean, I kind of like Days of Future Past. No, no one did. Wow. Spider spawning for one seems not great. We have nothing in the graveyard, so I'm not terrified of this. If we alpha, again, you're going to block these two. But then you lose this guy. And then you go to... I'm actually okay with this. Yeah, this is actually a perfect alpha situation. Because you literally have to block these two big ones. So we can actually take, take out both of these guys, I think. Maybe. Well, maybe we can't with this, actually. That's sad.
Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what we can do is trade here. And then sack one creature to trade with the Revel Arc as well, which seems good. Oh, but then they get the they get the unicorn back. So actually I think we're just gonna let this die. If it dies, it dies. So they go to two they go to one here. And then we can spider spawning for two. Which means everything is lethal. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh no, this guy trades, so we're actually spider spawning for three. That's the X-Men theme song, remember that? No, I had no idea. You had no idea what? Hey, do you remember this? No, I have no idea. That's not even an appropriate response for that. It was a joke. What was the joke? Of course I know that song, you stupid Mitch. Funny joke! Hey, man, do you want me to get you this chair? Now it's gone. Can we get you the spinning chair? The hell is that thing? It's a magus spin, ch magus spin spun chair. Do you set it on like that? It's only six hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yeah, man, go ahead, go oh, for it. Oh, Herman Miller, you are. Uh... I mean, if they if they untap and cast Wrath, and then we just play Spider Spawning for for five when they're at one, I think would be for six. I think would be okay. I think we'd manage. They'd get back to one, two, two guys. We'd have six guys that are all lethal. You okay, man? Olive. Olive? Yeah, olive. You love olives. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. God's willing on this guy. Well, you have to have... This is where he TKOs us. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, is this... This is, you know, OTK, right? Yeah. Your dyslexia just got the better of you there? Something like that. The chosen color is green. I'm pretty sure I'm actually just going to take nine here. Yeah, I don't see a reason not to. Actually, if they have become immense, we're basically dead, right? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, 13, they'd have to have become immense 16, and something 17. else. Yeah, they'd have two of things. So this would be nine. The, the become immense puts us at... Just log a wall of reverence, and then we guarantee win. There's, no, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, actually, I'm not even going to block with the spider. Oh. All right, he's dead. <laughs> All right, he died. I mean, they could play... They could technically play five guys, I guess. There's a card that gives double strike. Oh, there is Cleave, too. Yeah, Cleave would have killed us, actually, if we didn't block, because it would be a 10-10 with double strike. That would be insane. They would have been able to OTK us if they had double Cleave. See? Wow. God, you're so smart. Is that in those colors, though? That's a white red card, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, we could have just we could have just died. Yeah, good thing I'm here, huh? <laughs> you saved the day. All right, I'm gonna go get that water. All right, man, I'll see you later. You will. Are there not a fog or something? There is. There's dog charm, but I don't know if that's good enough. You say dog charm? Yeah, dog charm. Hmm. All right, man, I'll see you later. Dog charm sounds tasty? That's a weird thing to say. Is it because you eat dogs? Don't eat dogs. I did once. Oh, but dogs are friends. This hand is very good if we can hit one land. I'm going to ship it. No, we're on the draw. I'm going to keep it. One land and we get to play this. If we get to play this, we can also play this. We can also play this. Like One land. Come on, biscuits.
Come on, one time. Oh, we're so good at this game. I mean, we're pretty average at this game, I would say. I kind of like... L yeah, we're just play safe hold elite here. If we play blends into Kitchen Finks, like, they're still going to... Tr like, we'll trade with once, and then we'll they'll both persist, and then we'll trade again. I think we're just going to block infinitely because we have uh, way, way better ways to take advantage of graveyard shenanigans. Also, we can play this next turn and sack it if we want to. Oh, I s Fascinating. I see. Hey, Kitchen Finkaru. How much would it cost for a Twitch plays magic step? You have to take the first card someone says. Uh, normal normal amount like i would do that for a regular stipulation um that would that actually sound sweet it could because it, it incentivizes the first person to say a card and you could say like the most ridiculous card if you wanted to which you probably would do hey michael welcome back welcome back i think we're attacking here i'll i'll trade here if you'd like slam that fish in i can't i can't because it's Austin, who's there? You doing okay? Just a Justin, man. No, you're a Michael, not a Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I come back? That's what your dad says every day. <laughs> but he didn't even do that. Yeah, but it's still funny. I think we're just trading here. I don't, it's fine. We'll lose a counter here, but we still get the guy off the board. So, Oh, Danny DB, that sounds amazing. Oh, wow. Revel Arc is a thing, huh? Okay. That is a thingarino. I guess we can just play Wall of Reverence here. I think we actually attack another Revel Arc as well. We can also play Dragoon and plan for this. I mean, if you want to trade Revel Arc for uh, Kitchen Finks, I'm game. Let's choose you. Three life a turn seems pretty good. And always yes. You doing okay? I'm really looking forward to that, uh, to playing that Ollie deck. Are you gonna, you got a trick? Soon, my child. Oh man, they're gonna trick us. Double Ding did have the double cleave. Wow, you old, you old salty dog, you. Guess a good thing we blocked, huh? They would have killed us. Hey, we would have been right dead. Did you, were you just making fun of the the car that went by? I was, yeah. Wow, Mike literally did a... Uh, I, it's usually 35 for a draft step, just because that covers the time and the cost. But, I mean, I'm, I'm always willing to work with people just because it's obviously not set in stone. I'm not a retail store or something. You're not? Nah, JK, I am. I was going to say, I thought I bought groceries from you the other day. You bought groceries from me? Yeah. Were they delicious? Yeah. All right, now we're talking. Wow, we could have died with that double cleave last game. That's insane. What if we didn't block? What if that I was been like, heck I'll way to, take it? That would have been a heck of a way to lose. Don't take don't take risks you shouldn't take. Is really. Oh, this is a very nice combo here. This is a very nice combination move, as the kids say. Yep, you get that guy back. Knock, knock, who's there? Armageddon, Armageddon, who? Armageddon, tired of these lands. Does that... Oh, because you said Armageddon up there, and I didn't actually get a... Oh, dang it. I missed it. 3-6 is pretty big. And then I missed. Show me that smile again. I fire again, and I miss. I fire again, and I miss. I don't know what that's from. 
game, Grumps meme. Is it? Can you tell me about Richie Rally Richie? Rally Richie? Yeah. The richiest rich that ever rich? Yeah, brah. Brah? I don't know what I'm saying there. So three... I'm actually just going to take this guy down because... You get to kill both of these guys, but I think that's... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Is this power? Oh, God. So you can get this guy back and, like, a safe hold lead if the Revel Arc dies? Rally Riches in the house tonight. Do I just triple block or do I not even care about this guy? I don't want you to bounce this back to your hand and then keep replaying on this guy. But the Revel Arc gets this guy back at some point. But you don't have a conviction at that point. So, yeah, this is fine. I'll trade Kitchen Finks and Olivia's Dragoon for that. Oh, wow. Wow. Well done. Bye. <laughs> oh, God. She's always on point with the... Uh, with the Game Grumps memes. Are we just... Are we just Gurmag Angling for full cost here? I feel like we are. Beep, 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 boop. What is this? Your payment for Twitch plays when I just did Vintage Cube Step have to take first card, someone says in chat. If gets down to five seconds and no suggestions, you can pick uh you can you can pick Frank also, Mike. Push Frank off his broken chair. Please don't do that. Danny, that's awesome, dude. You're like you're like, hey, I'll I'll throw you some money once I get it. And then like 30 seconds later, you're like, okay, here's the money. That is awesome. We're going to do that next week once the Vintage Cube goes up. That sounds amazing. And I'm pretty sure at no point will there be five seconds and no one suggesting things. People are going to be slamming, slamming picks out. Slamming! That's good. Oh, I'm going to leave it up. I'll definitely watch this game, Grumps. You probably watch it now. It's not going to get you monetized, right? I don't know. I guess if we, like... It might not, actually. Oh, good. Travel prep. Always a fair card. Man, you drink water, it sounded like a, a yep. bird whistle. <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys hear that bird whistle? Mm. Didn't do it. Dang, that was a very good bird whistle. Alexa, what does the delve mechanic do? As a noun, mechanic is usually defined as a craftsman skilled in operating machine tools or, alternatively, someone whose occupation is repairing or maintaining automobiles. As an adjective, Mechanic can mean resembling the action of a machine. Did that answer your question? Sure. Thanks for your feedback. No, it did. Oh, oh, dang! I just made the program worse by literally saying that it did. Dang it, Jano! I actually do not know Spanish. <laughs> I do. Do you? Pequeño. I'm sorry. What? Pequeño. Does that mean jazz cigarette? No, that means little. Okay, so if we attack with this, you block here. And if you have Dawn Charm, you can regenerate your boys. Which is bad. Because I want to trade a Dawn Charm for that. You also get Safe Hold Elite and Tetmos. Tetmos boy. My <laughs> Delaware right now. And you set off mine, except she went for a defining count. It's funny that we all got different results. That's actually great. Double boobied Frank Lepore, very rare bird. Yeah, that, the single boobied is the more common Frank Lepore. What does that even mean? Oh, God. Volume 10 is the worst, dude. I, sometimes I put it on volume 6, and I'm like, this is too loud. I don't understand. And it only goes up to 10? Yeah. Hmm. What do you mean, Only. I mean, you could make 10 as loud as you want. Like, it's not like it's not like 10 is like a defined limit in the world, and you're like, oh, it only goes up to 10. But if your scale is only 1 to 10, that means, like, like I, each I, one has I like to a, be... a smaller scale. Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have more. So each one doesn't make that big of a difference. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ooh, I don't have a discard outlet anymore. That's sad. Riley Richie's in the house tonight. You know about Riley Richie? He's in the house right now. Riley Richie, the rich that ever Richie rich. Yeah, that's the one. I like. The, oh, they're pumping this guy at the end of their turn. That's that was an interesting choice. I, I don't know what that was, but all right. Alexa, are you in the CIA? No, 
I work for Amazon. It's good to know. <sighs> Danny, listen. <laughs> oh, God, these people and their tricks. Apparently, if you name your kid that now, they get bullied at school. Danny, are you the are you the YouTube Dan Brown? If you name your kid what Alexa? Yeah. Really? Because people like just talk to you like they do the robot and make fun of you for it. That's not right, man. That just ain't right. Interesting. Yeah, I'll take that. Alexa, are you collecting massive amounts of data to form a psychological profile of the population so they can be subconsciously controlled through the media? A likely story. Okay, there's a lot of lands, and I'm not thrilled about them. How come I can't discard this to anything? I don't understand. If I alpha, you block here, and you take, what, five, four? Three, two, <laughs> one. So five? You take five? It doesn't seem great. The one and only Save the Rich Author Dude. Nice. I I uh I always recognize your user picture as well, which is pretty funny. Alexa, is Amazon working for the CIA? Amazon is not a government agency. It's funny that that's an answer. I don't know if you guys heard that. She said Amazon is not a government agency, and I'm like, huh. It's funny they chose to program that. It's almost like they're trying to hide something. Alexa, what is love? A French philosopher once said, in love, one and one are one. Okay, well, there you go. Alexa, can you scat? Sorry, I'm not sure. Well, you should figure it out. I expect more. No, I work for Amazon. <laughs> the best part is setting off other people's Alexas, but not I don't mean to do it maliciously. It's just kind of funny. That's a side effect. Alexa, are you connected to Skynet? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. She knows. She knows. Don't even... Don't listen to her. She knows. Alexa, will my dad ever come back? Hmm, I'm not sure. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> fall out of the chair moment oh my god dude <coughs> oh my god wow the question alone was perfect and you're like yeah me neither <sighs> i'm pretty sure i just died That was good, man. That was, that was something. Oh, God. I'm basically dead. So we're dead next turn to this rogue's passage. That's good. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Oh, wow. Two, two grave scrabblers. Yikes. So I think this dude unblockable. Maybe we should have just been playing these and like just going wide. You express your emotions, so ideally I will use you as my reaction face now. Is that true? I try to. I try to express emotions. 
Oh, Gerbag Angley. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're actually very close to winning, but. God, we can get him to three. I'm just going to play this guy. <clears throat> Maybe they don't see it. I don't know. They're probably going to see it. Whew. Wow. That was a... That was an emotional roller coaster, man. I was dead. I could tell. Yeah, I think if we played the Scrabbler earlier, we might have been able to win. I don't know. I think they're doing it. Yep. Oh my god. It was so good, dude. Too bad you can't hear Alexa in the clip. I bet you can if you just turn it up. It's really low right now. Alright, well. What does this do? When a non token creature is put in your graveyard from the battlefield, if this is in your graveyard, create a 2 2. God, I really wonder if that's good enough. It's not. Okay, well, you know, we tried. <clears throat> we don't have any discard outlets that were missing, right? Mark of the Vampire actually seems pretty good. They don't have any way to deal with it, it seems like. I'm going to bring in Mark. I want to take out Whipper, Wicker Ball Elder. Wicker Ball. I knew you were going to say that. Or I keep that and take this out because they have a totem, which seems much better. Let's do that. Submit immediately. Yes, yeah, sorry, we did it. <clears throat> Alexa. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Cancel. <laughs> I think it worked. <clears throat> oh, hi, Mark. How's your sex life? <laughs> Alexa, can you quote the movie The Room? I love you, Grandma, is what you said. <clears throat> Alexa. Oh, hi, Mark. Sorry, I don't know Mark's gospel site. <laughs> what a story, Alexa. <clears throat> oh, hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Uh, I will probably not be going to GP Vancouver. That is correct. It does not seem like it's in the stars. I actually don't even know when it is. Oh, God. It's a, tonight. A green is good. I'm going to keep this hand and hope we get a green. Michael B. is in the house tonight. <clears throat> All right, here we go. One time. My God. Magic My God. God. Smile on me. 26th is the travel day to it. That's also like, wait, 20, 26th? The 26th is a Wednesday. Neros, what are you saying right now? Unless Canadians have different calendars than we do. Yeah, man, they go by the Gregorian calendar. Your mother's a Gregorian calendar. Your dad is too, but you don't know that because he's gone. Hmm. 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 Well. Free me. <coughs> Free me. Oh, look at that wing steed rider. It's your wing steed rider. Wing steed rider. I'm actually just going to play another one. Uh, I'm going to get all the planes here because they can let us cast Raya Dawn Bringa. So one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So next turn we'll have seven. So we can cast both of these and then cast this guy the following turn. Seems okay. <coughs> Oh, 
Oh yeah, look at this. Combo! I hope they play something else so that they can't bounce it. They didn't. They played nothing else. They played nothing. And don't forget, you are stupid. You are. Wow. God, I got him. This guy. <clears throat> Get him. Give me a little dream on and Mike's imagination. They didn't bounce it. That's cool. I didn't bounce you, punk. Mm. Is that how you talk to your dad? Yes. No, you wouldn't know because he's not even here. <laughs> Got him. Did you? <clears throat> you Did know you, you, you know you were gotten. I don't think I do. I'm gonna actually kill this now so that you bounce it, and we take three less. Kill it now. One, we, can, we take one less, but nevertheless, we get a four four out of it, and they do have to replay this next turn if they want to, which is two more mana. So the Julian calendar <laughs> is that from? Uh, is that from Trailer Park Boys? Yeah, man, it's from Trailer Park Boys. It, it is? No, you stupid Mitch. <laughs> What's your dad's favorite food? Caviar and cigarettes. <laughs> does he does he eat the cigarettes? Don't you? I used to. You that doggo? I do. I do hear the doggo. Do they just kill us with this next turn? Uh, it will be a six. It's only... I don't think so. Actually, if they have two spells to target it, they just kill us with it, which is pretty ridiculous, I think. Cigarettes and dope and mustard and bologna. Those are his favorite foods. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, this is a solid block. Cigarettes and dope and mustard and bologna. These are... So if they have a spell, they can actually bounce this, replay it for two, and then cleave us to kill us. Which is pretty ridiculous, right? We could have held this back to block, but I'm almost tempted to, like, play Connoisseur, sack something, and then play Spider Spawning for one. Which doesn't seem great, but if they're going all in on this, like, <clears throat> it might be fine. I don't know what to do. Do we just really worry about Cleave and... Well, they don't even have to have another card. They can just bounce the COT, replay it, and then play Cleave. Like, if they have Cleave in hand, we're dead to this card. <clears throat> so I think we actually have to do... Oh, no, we have to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we have to go Connoisseur. Sack like Wild Mongrel, I think. Which is nice, because she gets a permanent counter at least. Uh, discarding discarding spawning doesn't actually... Well, I mean, we could have done that, but then next turn we get another blocker, which is nice. <clears throat> yep, that's, that's what I figured you'd do. Also, if they have that God's Willing and Cleave in a land, which is a lot more cards. Because we still have the same 2-2 two -two on board, but now we can actually block and make a 3-3 three -three out of it. So I think I think having the Connoisseur on board is better than... Well, I don't think they... I'm just going to take this. Because I don't think they have it now. Like, they could cleave, it'll be a 10. And if they do something else, it'll only be 12. So we'd, we'd survive that. Unless you're going to go for lethal there. I don't think we're going to block. 
Here comes the Revel Arc. Oh mm-hmm. my god, every game, dude. Well, they have nothing in their graveyard, so that's well, they have one root wall, I guess. <clears throat> Just like Marie Antoinette, living a zoo doo and be doo and doo doo. Oh, let's cast you, I guess. Um, let's actually attack with Connoisseur and now we'll attack. We'll play this guy first, and then we'll attack with Connoisseur and this guy. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight. If they block here, they take four, five, six, and then we can go sack, sack, sack. We'd basically kill them, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so they have to block one of these two. However, having this back as a blocker is probably what we want to do. But it don't float. Well, okay, you discard a card, it gets float. Oh, okay. We also have four minutes. Oh, they have six minutes, so we're not too far behind. Yeah, this is fine. I think they're probably going to kill us next turn, but I think we have to take this risk because I think the longer this game goes, the worse this is for us. And if they had God's Willing, they might have just done it last turn, right? If they have, they have to have God... Because they could go God's Willing, Cleave, Conviction, and then it's a 4-4. Four, four, uh, God's Willing makes it a 5-5. Five, five, cleave makes it a 6-6, six, six, and then the Conviction makes it an 8-10. Yep, that is the block you have to make. So four, five, six, sacrifice this guy. <clears throat> this guy's a seven, seven, which is great, but it's also uh, doesn't have trample. So I guess we're just gonna let this die. God, I guess we're not gonna let this die. All right. Well, that's actually good because it means you probably don't have it for next turn. So sure. And you still go to four. All right, well, we have two lethal creatures on the board. <clears throat> Double cleave on this doesn't kill us. Double cleave on this does. Yeah, we're definitely chump blocking this thing. That God's Willing is weird, because you could have put God's Willing and Conviction on this and killed us, right? Do you have a second God's Willing? Oh, you're just going to tap down my team. Okay. Yep, seems good. Never don't have it. Let's ne Angel of Despair next card. Burden Eidolon. Wall of Reverence would have been great. All right, well. Our deck is amazing, but uh, not Dang. amazing enough, apparently. I think this is actually one of the better decks we've drafted, which is unfortunate that... This is the only deck I've drafted. It's true. God. This is why his dad never came back. At least he was eating caviar and... dope and mustard and bologna. <laughs> Oh, crying out loud. <clears throat> I think this hand is fine. <clears throat> I wish we had one way to get this. I wish we had a one in barrel rights in this deck. That would be pretty dope. I wish we also had Crushing Canopy. I think I undervalued Crushing Canopy, but I also faced off against a Revelark last round, so. <laughs> so good, dude. Oh, God, that's beautiful comedy. Beautiful comedy. Michael made of biscuits. Michael made of biscuits. That's your name, Michael Biscuits. Is Unbear Rights in this format? Yes, it is. I believe it's an uncommon. I believe you're an uncommon. That's what my mom always says. She's like, boy, you're really uncommon. Do you want some soap gum? Yeah, sure. You know you're not going to say no. There you go. You got him? Soap gum and it feels so good. It even smells like soap. You smell like soap. JK, you smell like bologna and cigarettes and mustard and hot dogs. You keep adding things to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm adding things to what you smell like. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my cigarette dad. Mike, how do you prefer your dope prepared? Slightly salted. <laughs> salted dope? Okay. Well, that's a thing, I guess. <clears throat> I 
Does he smell like someone's whose dad left? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, he does. I don't want to. Oh, that's. It smells. The gum smells good. Well, once you get past that initial soap taste, it gets good. It's funny that it's called Thrills. Thrills gum. Also, it's very, very yellow. However, the yellow is still uh, getting getting the green screen treatment. This is a good pause, by the way. Pause? Yeah. I couldn't think of the word. The phrasing. Oh, no, I meant on the video, the Twitch clip. Oh, or my, yeah, that is a good one, actually. You're right. You right. Michael, you right. Oh, look at that. Another land for our Ray of Dawnbringer. This is my wall, my wall. Is... Are you sniffing your son again? No, it's just that he's got an aromatic fragrance that, that wafts over. It's really just the gum. It smells good. It's a good smell. I'm going to gain two life from my dragon boy. Oh, dragon boy. You're going to fire your temper, my dragon boy, in response, huh? Okay. Well... That's rude. I wish I sacked this instead. Oh, good, we did. We still have time. Thank goodness for biscuits and gravy. Thank goodness for biscuits and gravy. Shh. Penumbra, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Dragon boy, dragon boy, the knights, the knights are calling. It's not the same song. It's Danny Boy. Danny Boy, the pipes are calling. I was making a meme to that. Oh, the Chumbawamba thing? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good. That was funny. And you're like, why are you singing that song? Why did you go from that song to that song? I'm like, that's the same song. I keep having to scoot towards this mic. All right, that's fine. T toward this mic, haha. <laughs> no. No. Boy, you smell like soap. I don't think anyone's ever said that in a negative with a negative connotation. You know what I mean? It's like, man, you smell like soap. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> You're welcome. Oh, it's a... Oh, jeez. Come on. Biscuits. What is this, nine? One, we're like four men away from this? Jesus. One Kodama's reach would be nice here. My kingdom for a Kodama's reach. This is where they're like fiery temper again. And I'm like, don't do it. Dang it. Why do you get the Kodama's Reach? They get all the good cards. You okay? Just exhaling, man. Yeah, but that was like a... That was a sigh right there. <sighs> Sai yai yai. Sai yai yai. Psyduck was one of my favorite Pokemons back in high school. Who's your favorite Pokemon now? Schnifflebutt. Schnifflebutt? I thought the cousin of Schmibblewarp. They're related. I don't know if they're cousins. Okay. What do you even know about Schmibblewarp? Not much. Yeah, you don't. You know why? No. Because you're uneducated. Because you're an uneducated swine. Oh. I bet you were too busy playing with Digimon, weren't you? No, Digimon are gross. <laughs> okay, I mean, like, you don't necessarily have to like them, but saying they're gross feels no, like a bit gross. Of a, okay, well, my, my bad. Oh, my God. I like my Japanese not pet pets. Pet pets? <laughs> to be pure. I like my Japanese not pet pets to be cure pure cure, the cure. Schmidlborp. Been watching for a couple weeks. Pikachu emote won me over to subscribe. Yes, that's amazing. Penumbra, appreciate the support, man. Thank you so much. Uh oh, lose the flip. Lose the flip. Lose the flip. They lost the flip. They, 
they win, they get it back, right? Yeah. And then it gets real. It, it spirals out of control. Swampert, Dragonite, Vaporeon, and Umbreon. Those are just a bunch of nonsense words. Those are a bunch of chemical companies. <laughs> you heard? Man, so much life gain. It's a lot. Now we get to gain three more because of this guy. We're basically unbeatable right now. However, if they like have overrun, I don't know if overruns in this set, but my chat is the best. Like, I'm not even like that's a that's a weird flex, right? But like, my chat is actually amazing. I love my chat a lot. I don't understand how I got this lucky, but it's probably all my doing, and I'll take full credit for it. So you're welcome. No, JK, you guys are literally amazing. And uh, I could not have, I couldn't have done it without you guys. One, two, three, four, five. This is nice because it puts us to seven, which is closer. And we can cast this fat daddy next turn. Fat dat. Fat dat. Mm hmm. Your mother's a fat dat. Wow. Got him. Wow. Tell me more about Fat Dat. Yeah. Hmm. It was a little rough around the edges. I don't know why I can't resolve this Kodama's reach. Are they going to do something? I missed you last Friday. You had real fun. No, I, I actually streamed later that night. I streamed at like 9, I think. What's your favorite Pokemon? Did you say it? I think you named a fake one, didn't you? Yeah. What was your real, what was your real favorite Pokemon? Probably. It's going to be another fake one. <laughs> it's going to be another fucking fake one. <laughs> <laughs> I like Gyarados. Okay, that's a real Pokemon. Just got Buffalo bu Wolf, Buffalo Wild Wings, Mango Habanero. Pretty spicy. Still not as spicy as that Wall of Reverence, though. I agree with you. Uh, let's put you into play for Freezels, and we'll play you. And now we're getting we're getting somewhere. I actually changed my mind. Uh oh, it's the one who holds the spoons. Machamp? No. Uh, Dig Dug Trio? No. Snorlax. No, but that's probably more that's appropriate literally for your... me. <laughs> I was like, that's literally you. I can also sack safe hold elite, sack kitchen fanks, and then sack them again to make this a 6-6. Six, six and and just, Zan, that's it. Just gain six a turn. Wow, so many people knew that. Mr. Mime. Isn't Mr. Mime just the unevolved Mr. Al Alakazam? Alakazam? Not Mr. Alakazam. That's not what it's called. Okay, they're going real wide here. Just like your mom. <laughs> wow. Oh, Jesus. I'm so proud of myself sometimes. What about that Jinx Pokemon? I think her name is Jinx, and she just looks like like 1940s blackface doll. Look it up. You mean like Mr. Popo? Yeah, pretty much. Blackface Pokemon. <laughs> no, it's not funny. It's going to come up, dude. There, right there. It yeah, literally came look. up. All I looked up was black. <laughs> yep, this is not okay. Yep, that's not okay. None of this is okay. <laughs> yep, the internet's a wild ride, folks. Jesus. <sighs> nope. Alright, so next time we get to Rhea, that's pretty busted. Jinx looks like Nicki Minaj! Wow, wow. that's... I'm uncomfortable. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because of the blonde hair. Oh, good lord, man. I'm uncomfortable that I looked up blackface Pokemon and it came up. Like It was perfect. I, I was, you're like, no, don't look that up. I'm like, it's going to work. It'll be fine. We're at 37 life. I'm feeling good right now. Oh, did I mention we also get to catch a Rhea this turn? She's only a 4-6 flyer, man. So Five. We got five. One, two, three, four, five. And I feel like if they had an answer to a flyer with six toughness, they would have killed the Wall of Reverence instead. But they didn't. 
So we got Olivia's Dragoon back next turn. There are threads on the internet about how Jinx looks like Nicki Minaj. It's a thing. Wow, that's that's actually hilarious. Dragoon actually also lets us get back Grave Scrabbler, so if they do kill the Rhea. I feel like this game is uh, spiraling out of control for our opponent, but uh, what do I know? Nothing. I'm like the Jon Snow of this match, apparently. That's a Game of Thrones reference. You ever seen that show? Never. Oh, we get to gain seven life a turn now because of this thing. Yeah, that seems good. I'm game. 48 life. Casual 48 life. Brian, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, they're just hard casting these, these big dumb green idiots. And I think the game's over. I feel bad about it, but I don't. What do we got, 55 life? Kodamo's a reacher, you. I guess it's just this. Uh, yeah, actually, I already seen that video. Actually, uh, one, two, three. I'm just gonna thin the deck a little bit more, if you know what I mean. You should, because it's not really a weird. I didn't really. There's no real weird connotation there. So, I guess we could use that land to give this flying, but you know, magic's hard. Hmm. I guess we can also attack with Walker, too. Like, if, if they chum block, it's fine. And uh, if they kill this, it's we get a 4-4 and a thing, so. Most anime from Japan gets recolored for the EU and NA because the little kids are watching it. That's why you see it's either black or white instead of full color. Just interesting. Is that true? Is there, like, a different colored Mr. Popo in Japan? <clears throat> yep, we'll uh, pitch this land. How are you doing over there? Just fine. Are you doing fine? Andy, are you okay? Are you okay? You've been hit by. You've been struck by. A smooth criminal. Do 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 do. I hate when I have exactly seven mana in my pool and I try to play a seven mana Delve card and they're like, what mana do you want to use? And I'm like, there's seven in my pool right now. Oh, we won. You could sack the seven. Yeah, we could do that. That is true. Um, so on a board like this, I just kind of get overwhelmed. I'm just like, I don't really know what we're going to do, but we're, I think we're just fine doing what we're doing now. I imagine all of the crushing canopies are coming in now, which is sad. But we do have multiple Grave Scrabbies. You know what a Grave Scrabby is? An infection. A what? An infection. Yeah, you. I, your, your mom had the Grave Scrabbies the other week. So, uh, you know. Got them. You didn't. <sighs> but I wanted to. I wanted to get you. I'm going to ship this hand. I'll keep this one. Uh, put you on the bottom. What's that noise? I don't know. I was going to ask you that question. I don't know. It sounds like a car like spinning, like without actually moving. Spinning without moving is the name of my indie band. It's the name of my emo band. My emo mathcore band. Spinning without moving. Oh, God. That's such a good band name. And it's three words, so it fulfills the O. Oh. Do we just go Lens Eidolon? Yeah, we do. This is a real off-curve play, but it lets us play turn four Angel of Despair, I think. If we hit one land. Malta four, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. What was the name of my band? Moving Without Spinning? Mm-hmm. God, what a good name. Oh, you got a, a Brawn and a Rolling Temblor and an Eidolon. Three, that's the best hit ever. You got a flashback card, a card that gives all your dudes trample, and a, uh, a card that you can get back. The rich get richer. I think that's a little dumpling. I think you're right. It's big dumpling, but yeah, I think you're right. 
So it's on an auto timer. Yeah, right? there it, goes, it starts at five. That's actually exactly what it is. Wow. Did you fix this problem? Yeah, I fixed it yesterday. It worked fine. How'd you fix it? I opened it up and uh, I taped over the sensor. It didn't tape over them, but I put some heat shrink over them and I heated it up so that the, it, it tightened around them so the sensors were like exactly right next to each other so that they're not aiming at the ground. And then I, I tucked them into the unit and I put it back together. So basically it doesn't have a sensor anymore? We actually need one more. Uh, it doesn't have it doesn't have ground sensors, so it can't tell when there's a cliff, which is why I had to put a a, a barrier where the where the door is, mm-hmm. where the step is. But it does have uh, proximity sensors in the front okay. still. So we actually can't do this until next turn because we need a second black. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but we only have one black, one white. So I guess we're just gonna go. Mon- Mongrello. Mm. Yeah, that is actually the robot vacuum. Well, butter my biscuits. Well, I mean, yeah, but most censorship either covers part of the screen black or cut it inside. Wow. Wow. All right, so next turn we get to Angel. Hopefully they just play something good for five, and then we get to Angel. Yep, that's what we were hoping for. All right, so now we get to go this, and then we get to go white, white. No. With this. White, white, black, green, make three black. Angel. Get the Eidolon back. Yep, that's pretty busted. Woo! <laughs> Angel of Despair with Verdant Lytle on is not a real card. Sure it is. It is it? Oh, they're gonna Vengeful Rebirth get back the worm. That's pretty good. It's not bad. That is their turn though. I guess we hard cast Angler here. Angle dangle. Oh, the old angly dangly. As sprangly mangly. No, no sprangly mangly. Is that your favorite Pokemon? Yeah, sprangly mangry. Mangry or mangly? I don't know, man. I'm drunk. I think you might be drunk. Should you go get some some liquor? I mean, could get turned. Spice, spice up the stream a little bit? You got the next, like, ten days off. You can get ready for our standard matches next. Oh, Jesus. So, problem is we're a little low on tequila. And I don't have anything to mix it with. Did you try mixing it with... My dad. Unless you're willing to donate one of your sodas to the cause. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I don't care about all that. Okay. So if we attack with everyone, you can block here, block here. You'll take two, but this guy dies and this guy dies. We have to keep a 5-5. Five, five. I think we're just attacking with Delver. Like, I don't care about this. If you want to trade with both these guys, that's fine. Yep, that's fine with me. Mike, you can order soda and tequila. They'll bring it like that cheesecake slice. That's true. That is true. It is still not that time. Oh. <laughs> wow. Alright, so you're flashing this back. Oh, you're just casting this, and you have another one in the graveyard. Um, yeah, let's get rid of Eidolon for this. I think Mongrel's better than Eidolon, and we can get get it back, so. Sure, you trade a Kitchen Finks for a Rolling Temblor. Did they play land this turn? Yes, okay, so they can't cast a second one. Unless they have a third one in their deck. Alright, that's fine. Yep, all these things are fine. Well, that's just fine. So next turn, if they cast it, they kill their own hero. Boneyard Worm lives. But we can sack two dudes to the Bloodflow Connoisseur because they would both die anyway. So I guess we're doing that. But we're kind of stuck right now in terms of... 
getting damage through. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana, so we're kind of off of Ray of Dawnbringer here. Oh, well, we have this. If we can find a gold card and then a Ray of Dawnbringer. What's your schedule for playing EDH and stream? I keep seeing it on YouTube. And really want... uh, usually it's on Tuesdays. Tuesday night is usually Commander Night. So Tuesday night around 9 p.m. Eastern time usually. Oh, they're going to pay a million for this. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. What does that have to do? <laughs> Jesus. Um, well, it's just Prey Upon, but this says whenever you target it with a spell, you may pay X, put X counters on it. Oh, yikes. So it's like heroic for a million. So it's like a 10-10 now? It's a 9-9, nine, nine, yeah. It's pretty It's pretty big. Yep. No blocks. What night is Hot Wing Night? As soon as it arrives. As soon as the Hot Wings arrive. I take it the bomb still hasn't shown up yet? It might be in that package, actually. Hmm. Okay. All right. Lands are nice, but not what we want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sure. We're just going to pass. They're likely going to play a Rolling Temblor. We actually probably should have kept the land because then we can keep both of these guys alive. That was pretty bad. But I'm like I'm in I'm in preparation for for Raya Dawnbringer here, so uh, I guess we'll sack you, and I guess we'll sack Wild Mongrel, and now we can block this guy at least. Do I buy a commander deck on Moto and stay up till two a.m. to play? Two a.m. is not too bad. I don't know what's going on. So, we both trade. That's fine. I'll take three. I've invested too much in this Bloodflow Connoisseur to die now. Oh! That's oh, a good hit. But they have another Temblor in the friggin' graveyard. I guess we just play it again, right? It's one, two, three, four. It's six dudes. Play it again, plus you can get a bunch of counters on your creature. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, that's gasoline. And we get to out. We get to attack here, and they have to block because it's lethal. What? That was the best draw ever. Ten ten. Rin ten ten. Wow. Wow! Wow! We have a 10 10 against the red green deck. That feels pretty strong. Yeah, it seems okay. It does seem okay. Verd Nylon? I don't do it. What if you steal this? Krasuski Man, thank you so much for the resub. 34 months in a row. Sacrifice Connoisseur to itself to have an 11 11. A bold strategy, Cotton. Okay. Attack for fight. Fight. Not bad. The problem is the second spider spawning just dies to rolling Temblor. Really totally Pemby Boley. Huh. But it also kills this and it means they can't attack with this. And we do get a million more guys, so... I'm pretty sure we're still going to do that. Because it puts them in a really awkward position of not being able to attack. Actually, they could attack, couldn't they? But if they attack, they're dead. So. And they have to block. They do have to block, actually. Wait, no blocks? What? <laughs> what? Huh. Guess he just wasn't in the game anymore. Not the strategy I would have employed, but all right. Sometimes you just don't block, I guess. He wanted to go out on his own terms. Cranable. Cranable. Oh, 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 oh. Cranable? Mm hmm. Cran apple? Cranable. What are you saying? I was just singing 
Uh, Panama? Yeah, but but Cranable instead. What's Cranable mean, though? I don't know. I just wanted to say it. <laughs> Cranable. Cranable. Bert, 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 bert. Cranable. Yeah, that's what I heard too. I heard Cranapple and I was like, oh, he's just talking about some juices. I'm really getting tired of these two Grave Scrabbles with no discard outlet, but I'll keep this hand because it's got a lot going for it. I mean, it's okay. Cranable is my favorite band. They're like Sunny Day Real Estate and Mineral. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Cranable Lector. And then the chat just takes off with it. You just make shit up and the chat's like, I'm going to roll with this. I'm gonna do what this guy was was saying. Panama, do 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 do. See, it's perfect. Is it? Oh, look, we found a discard outlet. Baller! Yeah, this chat is pretty OP. I'm, I, every day, I thank my lucky stars that you guys, every day, you I guys thank found me. Lucky me. Stars. This is a real, this is a real who saved who chat. I'm like, who saved who? Oh, that's your lady. Whoa, 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 she's a lady. I wish we had an Eidolon, a Verdant, Verdant Eidolon. The best part about sacking Verdant Eidolon to play Angel of Despair is that it just comes right... Wow, that's sad. That is sad. I has a sad now. I can't wait until Van Halen does a Cranable juice commercial and it's David Lee Roth making tons of juice puns to Van Halen songs. I like to just say you can't wait for that. Like, it's it's coming, buddy. It's coming. I really don't even want to play this now, because then they just dies the fume spitter, which is really awkward. Just go ahead and juice! Remember that? Okay. Well, we had a good time. Thankfully, this fume spitter is not doing a lot of damage here, so... Wow, mineral lyrics tattooed on your leg? That is, that is hardcore. Well, that's a thing. How much does Kozlik like in real life? Like, money-wise? Yeah. Pretty up there. It's like 30 or 40 or something ridiculous? Yeah, something like that. That's ridiculous. 10 pizza. That's good. That's <laughs> solid. Oh, man. K-O-Z-I-L-E. I wonder if it's cheaper because of this. Oh, 16. Oh, that's bad. Uh, no, that's, well, I think it went, it probably went down because oh, of Oh, that's this. the other Kozilek. Oh, yeah, that's the Great Distortion. We're talking about Butcher. We're that's talking about Butchie. bucks. Oh, wait, no, I don't know. Yeah, 25. Okay, still, that's still a lot for a... That's still a lot. A really underplayed card for a 10-mana Eldrazi, dude. I'm hot for juicer. I got it bad, got it bad, got it bad. He's hot for juicer. Okay. Uh, this hand's not doing what we want it to do, per se. I really feel like I should have played one of these last turn. I think I'm really... I'm I'm too conservative with casting Grave Scrabblers as Grave Scrabblers. <clears throat> I think I'm way too greedy about just wanting to get that that grave digger value off of it. Oh, I see. Grave digger, can you dig my grave? Can you make it shallow so that I can feel? I'm just gonna block here. You're gonna sack it anyway. I'm not gonna give you the choice. So. Okay, well, this is problematic. Where's my wicker bow elder when I need him? 
Is he in the sideboard or he's in the main deck? He's in the main deck. Whatever, right, just kill it next turn. Oh, wow. I didn't even think I could cast it. Holy crap, you're right. I totally forgot I could just hard cast this. Wow. That changes this whole game. Kitchen Finks also helps out. We just hard cast this lady. Thankfully, two planes and three swamps. We good to go, boys! Oh, they milled a mountain, which they probably needed, so. I've got it bad, got it bad, got it bad. Oh, they found a mountain anyway. Wait, they made it uncommon in cube? Yeah, this is uncommon. Huh. It's weird, right? That is weird. I agree with you. Wild Mongrel. Walker of the Grove. Got it bad, so bad. I'm hot for Michael. Not true. That was a joke. I, I feel uncomfortable now. I you said go. it too late. It's I back. have to go now. We're leaving. Minute Maid marketers are all over this chat because of the juice. I'm hot for juicers. At eight, I'm just going to block here. I'm hot for juicers. I ain't gonna, you ain't going to fire temper me out, buddy. Big Dumpling is aggressive. Big Dumpling is definitely more aggressive than Little Dumpling. 100% true. I've named my robot vacuum as Little Dumpling and Big Dumpling. The Big Dumpling is an actual Roomba, and the Little Dumpling is one I have in here called... It's an iLife robot. It's, uh... Wild Mongrel. Okay. Time to just evoke this guy and play this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we could do that. So we got Thai food for lunch, and then Panama was in the car on the way back. Wasn't it? I think so. But we were listening to Spotify the whole time. Where did we hear it? Maybe on the way there. Were we not listening to Spotify on the way there, too? No, I don't think so. Weird. Maybe we were? I don't know. I really have no idea where we heard this song. Where we heard this... I mean, we definitely heard it's it. It's Van Halen. Yeah, I agree with you. A murder, do, 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 do. Big Dumplin' is the racist. Yeah, she doesn't like the black carpets. <laughs> it's okay. We fixed it. We reprogrammed her. She's better, stronger, faster. Less racist. Less racist, thankfully. Good night, Frank Mike. Good night, Mike Mike. Good night, Chad. <laughs> Danny, Dan Brown, thank you so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it, buddy. Always good to see you. <sighs> Got him in the face. You still need to stand up to your dad and push him off his chair. Wow. Don't I don't know if I agree with you. I don't know if I agree. Let me put this in the stipulation so that we know. Uh, Dan B. Uh, chat picks. First card chat says is the card we have to pick. I really felt like you were going to have this, actually. I was like, okay, they're going to steal one of our guys and attack us with it. First seven. Oh, boy. Yep, yeah, that's unfortunate. I felt like we were doing really well, too. And then they sacrificed the Connoisseur. Well, that's just sad days. If we can discard the Grave Scrabbler, I'd be okay with that. And this is why we blocked here and didn't go to, like, five. Oh, boy. Grave Scrabbler's a real piece of shit. hot blood Goes of a mad Panama. I, I can't attack here because if they block with either, if they get rid of either of our creatures, uh, then we're dead because they attack with both. If we block here, we take three and die. If we block here, they just sack it and we take three and die. So we are no longer in a position to be attacking. Although one more land lets us play one one planes, lets us play Rhea. Moan is good. That's uh, that's problematic. I just have to drop a Scrabbler here. 
Wild Mongrel. One time, so I can play both Scrabblers. Oh, that's what we wanted, boys! Wow, one plane's left in the deck, and we nailed it. Nailed it! I mean, if they had another Malevolent Whispers, which is uncommon, they would have just slammed it last turn and killed us. So, this is good. This good. Yeah. Even if they have one removal spell that can kill a Rhea, it's going to be rough. But we can triple, we can block everything and then survive. Go to one. They do have 5,000 cards. I was at a stoplight in Boston, and this 50-year-old guy in a commercial rolled up next to me and lowered his sunglasses and was like, this one's for you, and started blasting, I can't drive 55, and peeled out. Wow. Yep. That's don't, amazing. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Oh, man. The, oh, we can get, just get Angel Despair back. We can also get Dragoon back and then Grave Scrabbler and then get back other things. And if we hit a land, we can just hard cast Angel here, which gives us a lot more bodies. Because you can go one, two, and then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we can do that anyway. That's what we're doing then for sure. We're getting back Dragoon. Discarding it. Discarding Grave Scrabbler to it. Oh, boy. We're oh, probably that's even better. Yeah, that's definitely better. I guess we could have actually waited to do this, right? Uh, one, two. I guess we can still do it. I think we're just probably getting like double yikes. All right, so we're definitely getting back. Wait, hold on. Return target creature from Grave Richard's owner's hand. Oh my god, he can target them. That's hilarious. Um, is this Bloodflow Connoisseur? We want to be able to just get the angel back for free next turn. Actually, we could have just played Angel here. No, it doesn't matter. We're not playing it. That's what's happening. We're going to actually... It's going to the hand. So we want the Angel to be in the graveyard for next turn. And then we're going to just go... One, two, three, four... Wall of Reverence. Because that's safer. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can attack for four in the air. And then gain four. That seems good. Going back up to seven seems healthy. Did you just blow me a kiss? No. Oh, God. That's terrifying. I can if you want to, though. I don't. No one does. Okay. So this guy gets haste. Okay. You got two cards in hand. I don't know what you could have here, but I'm a little afraid of it. I will block here. And block here. And block here because we can get Kitchen Finks back next turn. I don't know what you can have for three black here. I guess I'm fine finding out. Oh, last gasp, sure. Okay. Michael B. So what we're gonna do here is reanimate the Walker of the Walker of the Weeds. So we're going to do the same thing where we actually get back the angel here. So we can cast the angel and reanimate Walker, gain seven life from Wall of Reverence. I feel like we're in pretty good shape here. <laughs> Second kitchen thinks. Just in case. A I'm gonna get rid of these. The ones you can sack things to are the most dangerous ones on the board, I think. 
They're the most you know, unpredictable, and if they have two of them, then it just gets out of hand. It gets out of hand, you see. Um, yeah, that seems fine. I'll gain seven. I feel like we're doing good. When are we going to get face only Mike again? What does that mean? I think it means the oh, green kiss with shirt. your thing. That game was very close, and then it wasn't close at all. Hmm. What do you think about that? Not too much. <laughs> You're a very profound person, Michael. Profoundly mm -hmm. stupid. No, why? I would never say that. I want to take out a grave scrabbler for a mark of the mark of the mama. You heard? I heard. With purred. You heard with purred. That is what we call turning the corner in the biz. I feel like because there's such little removal, Mark of the Vampire is actually uh, significant. We haven't seen Pulse once. Wow, I forgot Pulse was in our deck even. Six life and getting back a creature is real strong. Especially when we like have been stuck with Grave Scrabblers in hand for several games. So like being able to get one of these discard outlets back would be nice. But no, no bueno. Yeah, I didn't even know we drafted that. Yeah, I totally forgot it was in the deck. I haven't seen it once in... Six thousand games. One, two, three, four, five, six games. Six games so far. This is a sneaker. Yeah, I got that reach, boy. That's all I want. Black. Swamp. Come on. Alright, well. One land. What is going on here? Is that Kodama himself? The North Tree? Dimitri, have a good afternoon, buddy. Golf to band practice for my no joke real life math rock second wave emo revival. Nice. You should totally link me to your SoundCloud profile because I would love to listen to that, actually. That sounds amazing. Wow, that was a good draw. Kind of like land. Yeah, it's basically land. When well, we didn't need to land that turn, so it's nice to have it then. Also, they're just going to sack this and attack us for five with their stupid reckless worm. Oh. Mm. We got lucky. They didn't play anything? This is great news. Michael B. One and one. He put you into play. Play for the turn. And then the pass. One, two, three. We can play twins next turn. Twinsies. Can also probably just angle dangle. Angle jangle? Bingo ba oh, we gotta get rid of that. Now we're gonna just wicker bar wicker bow elder and and knock that thing off. Get a four four out of the deal. Well that's a thing. So one, two, three. <sighs> We'd be one land shy. That's sad. Still gotta deal with this idiot. I don't want to give them a chance to fiery temper this. So, Bilbo Baggins, how's a badoot doot Bilbo Baggins? How's a badoop doop Bilbo Baggins? Nailed it. How's a badoodle doot 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 do Bilbo Baggins? One, two, three, and we have three left over. God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only gets us to eight, unfortunately. So I think it's just twins here for five, and then we hope they don't have malicious because they're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're just actually dead exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can also exile the code Domino's Reach, which is probably better. I'm a Michael B, and it's okay. Work all night and I sleep all day. It's accurate. No malevolent voices. Is that what the card's called? Don't just kill me. Don't. Don't do it. You didn't do it. Oh yeah, thousand percent block. There's no, there's no world where I don't block this guy and get it off the board. Totally fine. Still trade two for one. 
Good deal. Get the bodies off the board. Get the bodies off the board. So one, two, three. We still have four. Oh, oh no, you're one short. Ah, biscuits. Bah. Can we Dragoon discard and? We can, but I also wanted to play Kodama's Reach. Because I want to keep. I want to get ahead here. I think it is still a Dragoon into Twins. Though. I think Dragoon into Twins is getting ahead. Yeah, I guess that's true. I meant with land, but I think you're also correct. So. <sighs> Biscuits and gravy is Mike's favorite entree. Not true, but it is a good one. It's his favorite. Mm -hmm. Guilty mics have got no rhythm. They're like, do I fire your temper this? I don't know. Maybe. All right. Well, give you float. Random floaty boys. You know these are vampires. This art is actually really creepy if you look at it. Blow it up. If you don't look at it, it's less creepy. Like, they're yeah. just like, they're two little, like, they're like very, sh they're the, the two little shining girls. Okay, now we're just going to prepare for Ray of Dawnbringer. Prepare for the Dawnbringer. Uh, planes, other planes, planes, other planes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then Raya next turn. Raya Sunshine. Wow. What? 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 Wow. That's that's perfect. It makes total sense. Be aggressive. Be e aggressive. I'm still a little scared of them. Uh, oh, well, this is not gonna end well for you. T -t -t twinsies it's funny because the card is twins but they have two of them as well so so they're quadruplets oh wow they're like yeah take this may I see I'm actually going to keep this back in case they do have steal a dude Because if they steal Ray, I want to be able to block. Reanimate targeting our angler. Well, that's sad. It's not that big a deal. This might be, though. I don't actually know what this is. I'm a little scared of it, though. Yeah. What the hell is this? Oh, just double anglers. Okay. What's your angle? <laughs> What's your angle, Lur? <laughs> Meh, 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 meh. One, two, three, four, 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 seven, eight, nine. The Dawnbringer. She brings the Dawn. Well, they have no cards in hand, actually, so they're in top deck mode. Top deck mode arena. Oh, oh boy. Uh, let's go to blocks here. We'll block you and you and you. I guess we can just block here, and I think that's fine because we just get it back with Rhea. I don't really feel like risking Rhea here. And they only get to kill one of these guys, so. Like, I don't want to risk you drawing Fiery Temper and just killing Rhea. And also, both these guys are lethal with a Fiery Temper, so. Fiery Temper is like the perfect draw here. Oh, alright, well. They could also Fiery Temper here and then just been way ahead, so I wonder if it's not a Fiery Temper. Oh, it wasn't. It was a squee. We could have blocked. We could have totally blocked with Araya. Dang. They took advantage of our of our doubts. 3-5 uh, is better than a 3-3 three, three here. In case you didn't know. In case you didn't know. Always. Always a pleasure, Kitchen Finks. Get in there. All right. All right. 
Actually, probably should have made two guys with this. I think we're getting a little greedy with this. But I think we're still okay. I uh, think we're still okay. You think or you know? I think I know. Oh well, I can tell when I'm out match good games. Man, Rhea Dawnbringer is busted in this format. I'm actually, this is the second deck I played Rhea Dawnbringer in, and she hasn't been that difficult to just hard cast with all the with all the Kadama's reaches. Thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon, and meundies.com slash franklaport. And you can check out Aaron Kane custom deck boxes for some super sweet products. You get 10% off uh, with the promo code Frank. So be sure to check out his stuff if you're in the market for that. His stuff is absolutely incredible. Uh, you can check him out on Facebook or the links. All the links for those things, Patreon, Twitch, they're all in the description below or on my Twitch profile. So uh, feel free to check those out. And uh, thank you guys for watching. really appreciate it. See you later. I'm not leaving if you're watching on Twitch. I'm just ending the video. So don't go anywhere. But if you're watching on YouTube, I'll see you later.